everybody, this is Minifound back, and today, I haven't recorded the video in a long time, so I'm going to address something that has been, you know, sort of a thing that I wanted to put out on YouTube, but I haven't had the time to do it yet, so I'm doing it right now, because I'm bored, I don't really know what to do, still in that boredom period, I did a big project, but that didn't work out as you all know, so, I'm going to try this one, let's do this. My top 10 favorite video games of all time. This list may change over the years. So, this is the list for 2014. Even though it's 2015, I'm going to say 2014 because uh, 2015 is not really over. So, yeah. I'm sorry, I left one thing out. One thing I forgot to mention is that this also counts apps. Too. Not just video games in general, but apps. So, the title may just say video games, but it's still apps. Apps count as video games, right? I should. Right? Number 10 is... Five Nights at Freddy's. Alright, so I know everyone. There are so many haters of Five Nights at Freddy's out there. <laughs> And I actually like the game. Um, it's so low on this list because I love the lore and everything about it, like a lot of people. But I don't play the games that much. I um, I own the games, except for um, the fourth one. But this is technically 2014's list. <laughs> and the fourth one didn't even come out yet. So yeah, Five Minutes Phrase, number 10. Number 9, we have... Skylanders Spyro's Adventure. Now, keep in mind, this is actually a pretty old game, and it ranked pretty down on the list. Now, I'm a big Skylanders fan, but it's sort of grown out of me. I mean, like, it used to be fun and everything, but, you know, I mean, this was just the first game, and it made it up to number nine. <clears throat> but, trust me, there were a lot more better games than this. In fact, eight more better games. For now, at least. Well, I love this game so much. There were so many fun things made. So many videos about it. <laughs> My most popular video is about Skylanders Giants, I believe. <laughs> so, yeah. That's why it's at number nine. Because, you know, the, f the eight games you will be seeing are better than this one. And up at number eight, we have da -da -da -da, Minecraft. Now, um, I'm going to make this quick and simple of why it's number eight. I know everyone thought it'd probably be a bit higher because it's Minecraft, for crying out loud. But, no, I mean, it gets boring after a bit because I used to play it so much. But it just kind of got boring. Don't get me wrong, it's not like a boring game itself. It is really fun. But I don't really like to play, like, single player and stuff. I like to go multiplayer with my friends and people. But sometimes no one really wants to play with you. And that's just how life works. And it's it gets boring. So that's why it came so low, because I don't play it that much. I love the game, but I just don't play it that much. And up at number seven... We have Jetpack Joyride. Now, this is a game that a lot, I know a lot of people weren't expecting. And this is my first app on the list. Only at number seven. Trust me, there's a couple more apps. But, yeah. The reason why this came in is because I was the master at this game. When I was like a couple years. A couple years ago, like three, four, somewhat, but I was so good at it. I got like the 4,000. Oh, I had the best time. I mean, like, Jetpack Joyride, it will always be a memory. You cannot forget this game. Yeah, you just can't forget it. It's amazing. Up at number six, another app by the same creators of Jetpack Joyride. Everyone's probably expecting this now. It's da, 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 Fruit Ninja. Now, I am really, really good at this game right now. 
And that's why it's coming in, like, right now, because, I mean, like, we got a couple to go, but the other couple just sort of top it just by a bit. And number one, of course, crushes it. <laughs> but hey, you know, this, it's, it is fifth year anniversary, and it has over a million downloads? A billion downloads? I don't know, but it's one of the most loved apps, and it's loved by many, including me. And up at number five, we have... Skylanders Giants. Spoiler alert, this is the last Skylanders game on here because I've kind of lost interest in it. Giants was the best one and probably will be the best one for all the upcoming Skylanders games. I mean, it just became so repetitive that I just kind of lost interest in it. I mean, you didn't have to buy portals. There was portal owner starter pack. For this, you gotta buy all these new portals and stuff. Ugh. It costs too much money nowadays. I know it's their way of making money. <sighs> it's just, it, it costs too much. I don't have the kind of money to spend on all the little figures and stuff. I can't do it anymore. My YouTube channel is called Mini Thumpback. Frankie, I dropped out at Swap, for, at Swap Force. And I think I'm dropping out at Trap Team. Now, up at number four, this company has the most, I believe, the most out of any company on my favorites. The third game, right now, and the final one. <laughs> Fish Out of Water by Half Brick Studios. We had Jetpack Joyride, Fruit Ninja, and now Fish Out of Water. <clears throat> Fish Out of Water ranks so high because it's just so addictive. It's just so fun. I mean, like, all the game is so easy to catch up on. All you have to do, fling a little fishy, and there you go. You gotta get 10 out of 10 from the crabs, and that's really it. It's just so simple that it makes it so much fun. I mean, they're fishies. They all look so cute. Like a pink freaking dolphin. It's amazing. Did that, that fish? I don't... I don't even know if that's, like, a real fish. Might have to do my research. And, like, the minnows? I mean, that's just amazing. I know that's not, like, a real Carter's game, but come on! It's pink! Who doesn't love it? It's pink! Yeah, I can't get enough of this game. I really can't. Like, they actually have based time things. So, like, if it's, um, right now it says 9.13. So, right now, it could be, like, any sort of weather. Not the weather outside there. But, any sort of weather. It changes every 10 minutes. I just love this game. I can't get enough of it. But, there were only three more things that top this. I don't even know if that's possible. But it is. And, we're getting into the top three. The ones that are ranked so high. Up at number three. Da -da -da -da. Super Mario Galaxy 2. And we need a third. Nuff said. Just kidding, guys. Obviously, I still want a third. But Super Mario Galaxy 2 was so much fun. I love the Mario Galaxy series. And this one, I can't believe it. They had Yoshi. There were so many improvements from the first one. <sighs> It was just so amazing. You get, like, the, the Blue Yoshi, that thing. I just love the Super Mario Galaxy series in general. And that's why this ranks at number three. Even though it's Super Mario Galaxy 2 and it should be second place. No, it's number three. Symbolizing that we need a third game. Now, I'm not taking any more. Deliver it to us now or else. And you're thinking, or else what? And I'm like, um... Or else, um, um, uh, I, I don't know. Uh, Be Luigi will come and eat you. Yeah. Up at number two. Number two! This app deserves so, 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 so 
much more recognition, and it just doesn't. This is an app, and it's the last app on the whole thing. Number two, one of my favorite games, Dragon Veil. Now, I'm wearing a Dragon Veil t-shirt right now, which I will show you after this part. But I cannot get enough of this game. This game is so amazing. I mean, like, the concept, so simple. I love simple games. Then again, Mario Galaxy 2 is pretty hard. But whatever. Dragonville. The quest is to get all the dragons, just like Pokemon. So, <laughs> why wouldn't it be fun? I mean, like, come on. If you like Pokemon, you might like this game. It's an easy quest. They keep adding new dragons. The updates are very consistent. There's new, like, events happening every month. <laughs> new limited time dragons. It is just so amazing. I've spent, like, money on this app because it is so amazing. I mean, like, come on! Look at this thing! Look at it straight in the face. Say it's not cute. You probably just did that, but whatever, because you are one of those people who are just like, meh, whatever. And this thing, though, that's even cuter than this baby fire dragon. It's a baby ice dragon. You're probably saying that's not cute either, but whatever. Do you think this thing is cute? This thing is cute, all right? This thing is cute. I know my cuteness. On a scale of 1 to 10, it's a 5. GG, no read. Dragon Veil is amazing. App deserves so much more recognition. Please download this app. It's amazing. Also, here's the Dragon Veil t-shirt in case you guys were wondering. I do have it. And I also have one more, so, so I will show you that. And two more, actually. But I already wore that one. One's in the dryer. It's, um, this dragon. It's a blue one. It's a blue t-shirt of this dragon. And I'll show you the other one. Here it is. It's a prism dragon. You know, I can't get enough of Dragon Veil. I, I, I'm making it sound like this, that Dragon Veil is number one. Dragon Veil and Mario Galaxy came so close together. It's like not even funny. <laughs> and it's Mario. It's Mario Galaxy. And one app that, you know, it doesn't get much recognition that none of you had probably heard of yet. It's amazing. The concept is just so fun. It's so addictive. Just like fish out of water. Apps are just fun. That's what they're made for. Dragon Ball is the best app out there. Mario Galaxy is the best video game in the galaxy. I just made that joke. You better be laughing. Right now. And now it is time for the top of the leaderboard. You guys thought Super Mario Galaxy 2 was the only Mario Galaxy game on the thing? Well, I just spoiled it there. Obviously, guess who it is. And it even has its own crown package for Nintendo Select, so I thought I would use this because it's a number one. First game, the first on my list. This game is the best to date. So, this year... I kind of need a third game. Or next year. I'm not taking 2018 as an answer. Up until 2017. It needs a release date 2017. Super Mario Galaxy 3, if you don't know what I'm talking about. I don't think I'll mention that, but hey, whatever. Lumas. So cute. Mario. Not so cute, but amazing. Planets. Amazing. Bunnies. Cute. Coins. Uh, they're coins. A uh, black holes. What? It's Mario Galaxy. You can't get better than this. You cannot get better than this. The levels, they first started off easy, but then they got so challenging towards the end. There were so many new things. It was it's like no Mario game you've ever seen. If you have not played this, what are you doing? Go get it. The Super Mario Galaxy 2, I think it's on the Wii U. You can go down that from the eShop. You need to get this. You need. Number one or number two. You gotta get it. And then start a petition for Mario Galaxy 3. Or I don't I don't care. You gotta do it, man. If we're all on for a petition 
if we are all in for a petition for Mario Galaxy 3, then uh, sign me up. Please, sign me up. Thank you for watching my video. And goodbye.